All right, hello, OAS family. We are reviewing a book today. We're trying out a new format for reviewing books, so hopefully you'll like it. Uh, this is another book in a series called How to Paint. So we have this uh, book series that has a lot of sort of shorter books. And the other thing that's sort of unique about this series is the books are quite small. So you can see here, uh, the book is about eight and a quarter inches tall by about five and three quarter inches wide. So it's nice and easy to sort of uh, take on the go with you. So I like that size is quite nice. Um, this title, which is uh, book seven in the series, is focused on lotus and peach blossom. So uh, as you can see, as we open this book up here, you'll see that the text is all in Chinese. So before you immediately dismiss this as being unusable, Stay with me because uh, I think uh, that the illustrations in this book uh, speak for themselves. So I'm not con overly concerned that the uh, text in the book is all in Chinese because I think uh, the illustrations really are self-explanatory and they're really quite useful. So uh, you can see the first half of the book here focuses on Lotus and you can see we have line work here uh, that's focused on these two iconic pieces of the lotus. One is the seed pod right there. Looks like a little shower head. And then, um, and then you have the line work for the flower. So the other thing about this book is it does talk, uh, it does show two many different styles. So this is sort of like line work for a, a, a more meticulous style. So you can see that goes through different line works. And now we start to see sort of elemental instruction for a more spontaneous style in ink. You can see that folded leaf there. It shows you different ways to render it, um, different parts of it. Uh, and then you can see over here that we have a more abstract representation of sort of the larger leaf. So we're going through. You can see here more um, kind of abstract, uh, uh, spontaneous style uh, lotus leaves. Um, and then we are starting to get into uh, comp uh, composition. So you can see here is the signed composition featuring the lotus. Here's uh, elements, uh, spontaneous style of a lotus flower, building it from the petals all the way to the whole flower. Uh, and as we go through, there's more sort of elemental work in the spontaneous style. Here's another full composition just in ink. Uh, very dynamic, sort of spontaneous style. And then here is um, uh, a meticulous style breakdown, uh, fine line style of a flower going from sort of the uh, more outline structure to filling the different uh, levels of shading. So you can really get an idea there of how they build it. Uh, and then the same thing with the leaf here. And then here's the sort of full composition in the meticulous style. So that's uh, another strength about this book is because it's not restricted to a single artist or a single style, you do get a lot of variety in the book. And so it's really great for just um, giving you inspiration. So as we go through, here are more sections of the Lotus section. You can see, again, illustrative instructions on a different style and then a finished composition in that style. Um, uh, here's some nice color work using some blues for the leaves and stuff. So we're going to go through. Uh, and now, uh, here's a composition. That's a very uh, in interesting composition. I quite like that. So we're going through. Here's uh, basically the first whole half of the book is on Lotus. You can see here um, more things on lotus it's good now we're getting into the beach peach blossom section okay so you can see here the format of the book is very similar but now we're changing subject matters okay so we have different um, following the same format both illustrative and um, spontaneous style compositions and elements instruction so you can see there it's very nice this is a really nice breakdown of the meticulous style, fine line style, finished composition. Here's some more line work. Okay, so here's some branches in the more spontaneous style. Again, nice element work, uh, branches, and then some flower work in the more spontaneous style. This is a really nice finished composition with some calligraphy there. 
Okay, some black and white comp compositions. Okay, so the second half of the book is completely on peach blossom, you can see. There we go. Some little songbirds mixed into the composition there. There's some more line work. So there we go. Again, I really like these books a lot. They're great references, great little sort of pieces of inspiration that you can go back to again and again. And so this is our review for uh, book seven in the series that is on Lotus and Peach Blossom. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, make sure you leave our comments below if you wanna know uh, more about this title or any of the bo uh, other books that we carry. And in the meantime, uh, happy painting.